Good day everyone, welcome to a brand new episode. We're back in my survival world and as you can see, uh, I've mostly done the interior. There's a few blocks I'm missing, like I want to put like candles on these tables and stuff. But yeah, I've got a bedroom up here. Let me just show you that again. I've got, uh, I made a jukebox, we got bed, I can put my armor here. I've got a bit of storage. Oh yeah, that's my hidden lighting. <laughs> got a bit of storage. Um, got the horn that I found. Put that in an iron frame. Uh, down here, just got more storage brinks down the crafting table if I need that. Um, we've got like a a bathroom where we can wash hands. Up here we've got another bedroom. I don't know who this would be for, but um, yeah, even more storage in this room. And uh, I'm gonna probably build like a bridge leading over to that land and connect it to like a path or something. This isn't fully decorated, but it's decorated enough to what I'm happy to show you. Just got pots and a shelf and some more storage. But um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. And over here, nothing has changed. Yeah, so in this episode, I was either thinking I start working on transport this village because that's one of the goals I have for this series um oh my gosh are they are more villagers try to get in hold on let me see if they want to get in go on can you pop <laughs> go on no okay they'll probably walk in eventually um but I also had another idea is that I would build an iron farm like just straight off the bat I've got an iron farm immediately um so I found a design, and it's really like early game friendly, um, and I think that's what I'm going to do. It doesn't produce a lot, like it's, I think it's like 300 an hour, and like the average iron farm is like 1,300 an hour or something. Um, but I don't need a massive flow of iron, like I'm not going to be using a whole lot at the start of the game. So um, I think it's going to be good, and I think I'm going to build it. Also in this forest somewhere. I was thinking maybe behind my house. Yeah, so I think I'm going to build it around this corner. My house is there. And uh, I, here we've got like this flat area. And it's still sort of looking over the cliff. And the design for it is it's going to be all enclosed in like an, like an abandoned like old shack. Which I think it's going to be cool. Um, but I need a lot of deep slate. Which I do not have. I also need uh, a bunch of azalea, like moss carpets and like leaves and stuff. So yeah, I need to get to work on that. Alright, so I was originally going to film this in different segments where I keep coming back to you on my progress on the build, but uh, that didn't work out so greatly. So um, midway through, I just turned into a time lapse. So that's why there's no replay footage sadly which is yeah I'm sad because I like putting replay footage in um anyway the iron golem farm uh design is by Voltrux he's a pretty big redstone channel that makes a lot of tutorials on easy farms um I'm gonna try design my own farms in this series but iron farms just stem outside like redstone mechanics and like it's it's all game mechanics it's too complicated for me so check Voltrux out um anyway i've managed to cut down a few hours of work into a little bit over three minutes so i'm gonna use this chance to introduce myself to people who haven't seen much of me which makes sense because you're either a new viewer or you forgot who i am uh because it's been six months since i uploaded consistently and i say consistently very lightly because i don't think i've ever uploaded consistently uh yeah i'm sorry about that i didn't know what to say to introduce myself so i just searched uh it up and these are the top results okay first what is your lifestyle um, well, I don't eat much because I'm very indecisive and instead I just drink water. Um, I'm very average when it comes to online life. I just call and play games with friends and I have two jobs and I live with my parents. What was your age? Wow. Rude. Um, I'm 19. Where are you from? Um, I'm from Australia. If you couldn't tell by my voice. Actually, a lot of people say I sound British, 
Which sort of makes sense, my dad's from the UK. Um, but yeah, a bit of a mix of Australian and British. Um, what distinguishes you from other individuals in class? What kind of question is this? I'm not in school anymore. <laughs> is there an object or prop that means a lot to you? Um, yes, my bed. What is your hobby or interest in your spare time? Uh, I enjoy drawing and I obviously enjoy gaming. Uh, when I play games, it's usually like a non-shooter game. Or Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, usually just games with like animals or some sort of way to stretch my creativity. Yeah, <laughs> I'm done with these questions now. Um, but if you have any questions for me, uh, and you want me to answer them in the time lapse form like this, I'll be happy to. Just type a comment down below and I'll try and read it out in a time lapse form like this. Anyway, um, yeah, this time lapse is almost over. So, uh, yeah, remember to check out Voltrax for this iron farm and I'll see you in a second. My friends, the iron farm has been finished. It's a beautiful abandoned shack. <laughs> Look, you can see the zombie in there, you can see the villagers. In here is the killing chamber, and it does work. I've just, I just recently pulled out the iron. Wait, I'm sure if we give it like 10 seconds, it'll spawn. 9, 8, yeah! <laughs> yeah, so it isn't the fastest, but it works for me. And, um... So when this, so when someone lived in this shack, even though people do technically live in here, um, they had a farm and this is their farm. It's a bit overgrown with some weeds and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I think it's a nice little farm. And back here, I've got a nice tree. And that's about it, to be honest. Um, got some azalea vines going up the wall. Like, sort of like a poison ivy type thing. But yeah, I'm really happy with this design. I sort of made it really quickly. I was like, damn, that's pretty good. I'm going to build that. But yeah, I think the next thing I need to focus on is making an easier way to get back and forth to my base, to the iron farm, because I'm scaling the side of a cliff right here. Uh, I think if I extended this path, maybe, and made it go through the mountain, uh, it should be good. Even though it's meant to be an abandoned shack in the wood, I think it still makes some sort of sense to have a path leading towards it. There we go. <laughs> uh, I've mined out a little pathway sort of thing, but I need to, I need to decorate it. So it's not just like some hollow in the mountain. Also, I just noticed, um, up here, we've got a fox on the side of the cliff. I need to get him. He's far from the spruce biome. I don't know how he got here. Okay, buddy, don't jump off the cliff or run away. Okay, up here. Come on. Yeah, this way. All right, guys, what should we name this guy? Oh, he's got an egg. Oh. Wait, I hope you didn't kill my chicken. Oh no. I need to get over there. Oh no, we're all good, guys. But there's an iron golem here. How did you spawn? Did you spawn in the flower pot? Can you spawn in that? Oh, you know what? He probably spawned in that grass. Because that is not tilled. Hold on, let me fix that. Okay, any other grass blocks in here? No. Okay. Um... I have another baby. Okay, <laughs> did not have a baby. I need to kill you. Alright. Let's go grab that. And need to check how much we've produced. Oh, that's pretty good considering that I don't know how long that iron golem was sitting there, but I think that's pretty good. Anyway, I need to fix up this hole in the cliff and make it look a bit better. So, yeah, let me do that right now. And here it is. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be honest, not very happy with it. I sort of just put it 
together with the two brain cells that I have left in me today. So I might just sleep on it and like tomorrow I'll change it. But for now, I think this is all right. But um, uh, I, it's, it's not finished. I've still got to connect the path up to it. And for that, I need a bunch more wheat. God damn it, why does it have to start raining? Um, I need the wheat to, of course, hold on, let me put this all in here. Make packed mud, there we go. Alright, first, I've got to mine out all this grass and also stone over there. Secondly, I want to put a bit of granite along this grassy bit until we get to the cave. Then, I'm going to put like terracotta and like paint stroke splatches sort of things with a bit of extrusion like poking out okay now that i've placed all the terracotta i'm gonna place a bit of mud not as much as the terracotta but um just just a little bit of packed mud just probably around the corners and a bit in the middle and then in the rest of the spots i'm going to put half slab versions of mud bricks because I'm very cheap like that. <laughs> and just like that, we've got a, an awesome organic looking mud path. Wait, let me show you. <laughs> I had to sleep. Look at that. Oh, actually, I want to change that one there. Yeah, that looks cool. I love the variation it looks. So I've sort of made it so the mud uh, bricks are following sort of the middle of the path. Uh, granite always on the outside. I, I followed that rule over here. Um, the terracotta and mud can be sort of going into the middle. Um, but mainly stick on the outside because I want to keep the mud bricks in the middle. But yeah, that's my mud path design. Uh, you, you're welcome to use it. <laughs> Every time I come over here, there's a new iron golem just sitting here. I don't... I don't understand why. Okay, I took out the bun that I, that was there, and I uh, replanted some potatoes there. You gonna die? Be quiet. <laughs> um, hopefully they don't spawn in that spot anymore, because I always notice them spawning in that corner. So, hopefully that's fixed now. You're probably wondering what the gravel is doing there, and I thought it'd be cool to have a Minecraft track. Yeah. So I'm just gonna place the oh, what what. Excuse me? <laughs> Can I place over here? What is going on? It's using rails up. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, I can place these. I can... Okay, now I can place them. What? What just happened? <laughs> Yeah, so now that we got all this iron, I may as well make use of it. So, yeah, I'm going to make a minecart track. Now that I think about it, it would be pretty cool to have, like, a minecart track going all around, like, the builds I make. And I can all connect it with a center point. Actually, that's an amazing idea. <laughs> and here it is, our little roller coaster. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's not that exciting. Um, and I probably won't use it a lot because it's so much easier to just walk to the iron farm, but I guess it's what the time's for. But I think at some point it would be cool to have like a, uh, a central station where I link, uh, the rails up to and I can take the rail anywhere I go where I've built in this world. Yeah, so it's not much now and it's not too special either, but I think... In the long term, this is gonna be a pretty cool thing in this world. Anyway, it's dark and I need to go to bed. I've got a bed in my hotbar, but I think it would be cool to end the video with a sunset. I think this uh, room has the sunset. Yes, it does. Here we go. Anyway, um, hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, I'd love to hear your thoughts and criticisms in the comments. I don't mind if you criticize me. <laughs> it's good if you criticize me. Yeah, so I think that's all I have left to say. So, um, 
I'll see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you had a good day as well. Um, yeah. Goodbye, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.